Friends, welcome back to this uh, IPM in uh, Pigeon P, which is also called as uh, red gram in majority of the areas. You know, Pigeon P is an important uh, proteinaceous crop and uh, our demand internally is much more than what we produce. Hence, uh, we are importing lot of uh, Pigeon P from abroad. Being an international year of uh, pulses, it becomes uh, an important uh, message to all of us that our production and productivity of uh, Pigeon P should increase in the country. One of the major limiting factor in the production is uh, the damage or the injury caused by insect pests. So, managing these insect pests particularly through IPM is the need of the hour. In this class, we will try to understand the various uh, pests involved in, in uh, red gram and their management. Before that, you know why we need IPM? Mainly because of indiscriminate use of uh, insecticides and the excessive use of insecticides which has led to the development of resistance of uh, uh, the insects to various insecticides is the major cause. Because of excessive use of insecticide, once again uh, the natural fauna in the red gram ecosystem has been totally reduced. Then uh, some of the minor pests or the secondary pests becoming uh, a major pest is another uh, reason for uh, the IPM uh, implementation. And then due to environmental pollution because of uh, overuse of pesticides uh, is also one of the reason for IPM development. Lastly and from the former point of view, the cost of the input has increased tremendously thereby the net profit that the farmer is getting has been reduced. That is why there is a need to go for IPM. We will try to understand what are all the major economically important uh, insect pests uh, attacking our pigeon pea or red gram cow. First and the foremost across the country, it is only a single pest uh, pigeon pea pod borer, which is scientifically referred as Helicoverpa armigera, which is a lepidopterous insect, causes a very significant damage. Significant damage in the sense an average. 30 to 35 percent uh, economic loss is there. Sometimes under severe outbreaks even 95 to 100 percent the total damage is uh, has been recorded in some parts of the country. Why this Helicover power measure has become so dangerous? One need to know that because it is a polyphagous pest as on now about 183 host plants. Uh, on which the insect is going to cause damage. And this insect particularly the adult can move up to 2 kilometers distance. And then the insect has got a temporary or a facultative diapause to overcome the adverse hot temperature situations during summer month. And then the insect has got a very high fecundity. Fecundity varying from 400 eggs to 1500 eggs per month which are laid in about uh, 7 to 15 days, particularly after the cloudy period. Uh, there is a heavy outbreak of this helicoverpa mainly because the egg laying increases, not only egg laying, egg hatching also increases. So, because of these two conditions, we see sudden outbreak of helicoverpa damage on pigeon pea crop in many parts of the country. And more importantly, this insect has been reported to develop resistance to almost all the known uh, organophosphorus compounds, carbobate compounds and in particular synthetic pyrethroids which were really effective when they were released in the beginning. But because of the development of resistance and uh, or there are reports that up to 200 fold the insect has developed a resistance to these insecticides. Followed it up with uh, Helicoverpa since uh, 4 to 5 years. We have another minor pest becoming a major pest that is Maruka. There are 2 to 3 species which are simply called as uh, leaf webber or flower webber. They also cause uh, damage to the pods also. 
in this uh, photograph you can clearly see various uh, stages of the larvae feeding on different parts of uh, the plant and here also you can very clearly see starting from uh, the foliage webbing till uh, the pot damage you find all sorts of uh, damages on the pigeon pea crop. Particularly in uh, North India there is a serious pest pod fly which is uh, referred as Melnograbiza obtusa which is a dipterous uh, insect and uh, to the tune of almost around 60 percent loss is uh, recorded. And this particular pest uh, deposits egg directly into the seed and you can see one uh, larvae feeding on the seed completing its entire life cycle and pupating there itself and then the adult emerging out from the pod. So, because of this there is a significant loss even in South India also of late, late maturing varieties of red gram is recording up to 30 to 35 percent economic damage. Then we have some localized pests particularly sucking pests in the different species of pod bugs. Here it is clavigra, here it is riptortus they in isolated patches cause an economic loss of about 15 to 20 percent. These are the economically important insect pests attacking red gram or the pigeon pea across the country. Thank you.